Hey guys, this is E with Scrapbooking with Me. Somebody had left me a message and said that would I slow down just a little bit when I introduced myself because they couldn't understand what my name was. My name is actually Edith, E-D-I-T-H, but most everybody through my years has called me Miss E or E. So just the initial E. So that's kind of what I've gone by for years. So that's why I just say, this is E with Scrapbooking with Me, because the M dot E in the Scrapbooking with Me, the M is for my daughter Melina, and the E is for me. We actually opened the company up together years ago. But that, just to clarify that, somebody had asked, so I thought I would answer it on here. All right, we're going to go ahead and finish up well, not exactly finished, but go ahead and put our pages and everything in our album that we made from a cereal box. This album cover, if you didn't watch this a couple of days, I think it was the video right before this one a couple of days ago, we actually made this cover for this mini album from this cereal box. And I show step by step how to do that, so if you want to learn how to do that, just go back to the video previous to this one. And as you can see, it's a nice size. It's an 8 by 8, I do believe. And we're going to put some pages in here today. I was going to do this yesterday, but we had some storms in the area. Our power kept going off and on, and the internet kept going off and on, so I just couldn't get it done. So I'm going to do it today for you. Now this, I've already gone ahead and folded this. This is going to be our hinge system. And this hinge system is was invented or made by Kathy Orta. And it's called the Hidden Hinge. We're going to go ahead and do this. I went ahead and folded everything because there is a lot of folding and scoring to do. But I will show you how to do it in a short, short step-by-step -step video. Or video. Oh, we're on video now, aren't we? In a, in a short step-by-step -step on just a scrap piece of paper. What I did was I took... And this is something that nobody ever explained to me in the videos. And I'm sure one time or another Kathy has and I just missed it. But what I did is I took my, my spine and I measured it. So just measure your spine. Mine is about two and a half inches. Let's just say two and a half inches. It's right at it. And then you decide about how many pages you want in your mini book. Now... I think I want eight pages in here, and I want enough room between the pages that will let allow me to put, you know, some dimensional items on there. Something that has a little bit of dimension to it. Um, trying to find something, and I can't, of course, right quick. But you know what I mean. Not exactly this much dimension, but just something that has a little dimension to it. So I don't want my pages close together. So I'm going to use the gusset for one quarter inch. And what that gusset is, is that's how, how much room you're going to have between each page. So when you determine that, how many pages you want and how wide you want your gussets, what you need to do, let's just pretend this is my hinge that I'm going to be making. I want to leave an inch on the end. Now you can leave two inches, one half inch, whatever you want. What this part right here is going to be is the part that actually goes out here on the side of your mini album to kind of reinforce and hold this hinge system down. Now, you, if you're going to do it that way, you should put the hinge system on before you cover the inside of your album. I didn't because I'm going to do a hidden, hidden hinge, and I'll show you how to do that in a minute. But if you want to put just a regular hinge binding on here, leave a little bit of room on the end. And I, like I said, I leave about an inch. So start at an inch. Do one inch score, and then you're going to score at every half inch. Do half inch, half inch, and then you're at your gusset. That those two half inches make a page. Just remember that half inch, half inch makes one page, and then your gusset one quarter inch. Then you're going to go again at half inch, half inch. Uh oh. That's my second page, and then I need my gusset, one quarter. Go again at half inch, half inch. That's my third page, and then my gusset, one quarter inch. 
go one more time. Let's see. Half inch. Half inch. That's my fourth page. And then your quarter inch for your gusset. Okay. So, as you can see, I've got my one inch out here. I've got my half inch, half inch. That's my first page. And then my quarter inch is my space between my pages. Half inch, half inch, quarter inch. Half inch, half inch, quarter, half inch, half inch, and quarter. So this should make four pages. And what you would do is go ahead and fold on your score lines. And I just fold and burnish them just all one way. And then you can do a little bit different later. But I don't, I'm not going to use um, my score tape on this because I don't want to waste it so I'm just going to put some glue on it because this is just for demo purposes. All I'm doing is showing you how to do this. And there are lots and lots of tutorials out there on how to do this hidden hinge binding. You can go directly to Kathy Orta's um, YouTube channel and she has some videos on it. A lot of other people have videos on it so you know, go check those out too. I just wanted to show because I know that some people will watch this and then they'll message me and say, well, you didn't show me how to do the hinge. So, okay. I got my half inch, half inch there. What that's going to look like is I'm going to glue those together just like that. See, I'm going to pull those two half inches up and glue them together right there. So I'm going to glue that together for you. Alright, so that little part right there that I've got glued together, that's going to be where our first page is going to sit down on. Our first page is going to sit down on that. That's going to be our first page. Then we've got that little quarter inch right there. We're going to leave that alone. We're going to go to the next two half inches that are together. Put a, You would be putting score tape right here where I'm putting glue. Put score tape on there. Pull those two together. And I would definitely use score tape on this, not glue. I, like I said, I'm only using glue just for the purposes of the demo. Alright, so see I've got two. There's two pages. And then I, you see the... I know it's a little harder to see that way with black, but see I've got my two pages and then I've got my gusset right there. Okay, then go to your next half inch, half inch. Put your score tape on there. And pull those two together. Alright. And now you've got three pages there with your gussets between them. And this side, you see this side how the how it's starting to be very flat? This is what's going to glue to your album, to your mini album, the spine. So we'll do another. Glue the two half inches together. Getting low on my glue. I'm going to have to get another one. Okay, so glue those two together. So there is our fourth page. So we've got four pages there. So I'm just going to go ahead and cut this off. I'm going to pretend that we're finished here. Alright, so you see you have your four little spikes sticking up there. That's what the pages are going to sit down on. You've got your gussets here, and then you've got your two flaps on either end. And then the back side is really flat. That's what's going to glue down to your book. And that's where you're going to fill all of this with square tape so it'll stick down on your book. So it'll stick down just like this. And then... Like this is your spine running up down through here. It'll stick down like that, and then your pages will sit right down on top of it. Okay? Or let's say the book's this way. Your pages will sit down on top of that. So that is all there is to a hidden hinge. It's very, very simple. No problem at all. If you have any questions, like I said, there are lots of tutorials 
for this out there but if you have any questions for me just feel free to leave them below and I will answer them as fast as I can alright I put score tape on mine already so I'm going to go ahead and put these together and I will probably fast forward through this I put score tape on my fourth inch too so that when I get all of these half inch stuck together then I will already have my score tape on my quarter inch and I'll be ready for it to go down on my beanie album so let me put this on here and then we will be back and I'll show you how to put this down we have all of our one half inch score lines glued together that gives us one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. That gives us eight hinges. And as you see, I cut it. Now, what you need to do, and I didn't tell you this before, but what you need to do is make sure that you cut this a little short, shorter than your book. Don't cut it the same length as your book cover. I, I think I brought mine back about, um, I don't know, looks like I might have cut it at. Uh, seven and a half inches so my book is eight and I cut that seven and a half and then I'm just going to center it in the middle now what I'm going to do since I went ahead and put these down like a like a silly when I shouldn't have I shouldn't have covered these before I put my hinge binding down but I did and I don't really want this raw edge to show what I'm going to do is I'm going to do a hidden hidden hinge now <laughs> hopefully this will work we will see I've already got my score tape on here, so I'm going to go ahead and take some of these off. And we will see if it works. This is trial and error. I don't know. I've not seen this anyone do this before, but we'll see if it works for us. And if it does, we'll call it our hidden, hidden hinge. If I can get the backing off the score tape, that is. Oh, and while I'm using this, let me tell you, I know I have lots of orders for this that are on back order, and I do apologize. I have contacted Kaiser Craft. They are supposed supposedly hopefully sending me some on a rush order but of course it's they're coming from Australia so you know it may be a couple of weeks because they have to come by plane or boat or whatever so who knows and then customs will have to inspect it out the yin yang so all right now what I'm going to do with my flaps is I'm going to turn them back under here so I'm just going to fold my flaps back under the back side like I said I don't know if this is going to work but we're going to see all right that's still going to leave my hinges sticking up just like that so now I'm going to put score tape all on let's see I'm going to go ahead and put some glue under here and glue that down really tight because I don't want that pulling up on me Since I didn't fill it with score tape, I'll just put glue there because this glue will hold. And none of this is going to show anyway, so. Alright, now I'm going to fill this up with score tape. And I am going to put quite a bit on there because I want this to be there. I don't want it to pull loose. So I'm just using my half inch score tape. And I'm running it right down the edge. And I am going to cut this, even though you could tear it, because I am kind of up. I've got it kind of balanced on the other side. And I don't want to squish my little hinges. Okay, now I am going to burnish this down. And what I'm going to do is fold all my hinges over a little bit so that I can really put some pressure on this and burnish it. Because I want this to stick. All right, now we are ready to pull the backing off of this and then put it in our album. 
and then we're ready to go on to the pages. I have no idea why I'm having so much trouble getting the backing off of score tape today. Okay, so here we go. Now my little lines, my score lines for my binding is or for my spine is right there and right there. So what I'm gonna do is just try to center this as close as I can to the middle. And that looks pretty close. And then I'm just going to go between each one of these and press it down. Now, this one on this side, I need to make it stand up. This one on this side, make it stand up. Because that's going to be our hinges right there. Okay? So, I work them a little bit so that they'll, they're going to be flexible. Because that's how your book's going, going to fold back and forth. It's just like that. Your pages. So it looks like it worked pretty good. Once we get our pages on there, you shouldn't be able to see our hinges. And what I should have done before I put these in here is I should have cut just a little corner off of these, and I didn't. should have angled them just a little bit. Let's see, I may have to do it with my smaller scissors. Go ahead, before you put this in your album, and angle the corners of these. So, that's done. Now, let's move all that out of the way. Alright, there we've got that. And now we're going to make our page. Now, I will tell you the size of my pages. But like I said, unless you're making the exact same size album that I am, then these, these will not work for you. But I'll tell you to pick my size pages, and then we'll go from there. And if you have questions about when you make yours, what size pages you need to make, just let me know and I'll help you out. Now this is one of my pages. I went ahead and made it. It has a pocket here. And then it has a pocket up here with a tag in it where you could put photos or, you know, your journaling, whatever. Then the back side has a flap with places to do your photos, journaling, whatever. Now, I've not decorated this. All I've done is put my pattern paper on it. I'm using black for my color, for my background color. Now, here is where my spine is going to attach. So that's where these... This is going to sit down on that, just like that, and that's going to be the page, the way we do our pages. Now, I am going to, not, I'm not going to put this on yet. I'm going to show you how to put one of these pages together, and then we'll put this on. Okay, the first thing you will need is some cardstock, and I've already got all of mine cut just for, to help with time's sake. Now my front mat, which is this this page right here, the well let's let's do the background pages first. My background pages are this one is cut at seven and a half, so you're gonna need one at seven and a half by seven, seven and a half by seven. The one that goes to the back side, you're going to need it to be eight and a half by seven. And the reason that you need this one larger is I will show you right here. What you're going to do with the one that is eight and a half long, you're going to put the eight and a half each side in there, and you are going to score at one half inch on this end and one half inch on that end. Well, it, one half inch here, and then this one is eight, which would be half inch back. Because what that's going to do, if you take this again, and you lay this down on here, then these are going to be able to fold right around that 
front and make your little pocket page. See, we're going to fold those up. See, that, that will fold around like that and make your pocket page. Okay, so we'll go ahead and put our adhesive on here. Lay your front piece down with the seven and a half inch this way. Lay it down right in the score marks and then fold that over just like that. Lay your other one down on the other side and then fold that over just like that. That makes your pocket page. Then the, this end will be where we put it on the in the album on the spine and then this ends where we're going to put our tag and our other little piece and all that. So that one, lay that aside for just a moment. Well, I'll tell you, let's go ahead and put our front little pocket on. Now this, the front pocket, this piece is cut at eight and a half by three. So it's three inch by eight and a half inch. And what we're going to do is we're going to score at one half inch on three sides. One half inch on three sides. Go ahead and fold and burnish those score lines. All right, now we're going to take our scissors and on these corners right here, we want to come in just a little bit and clip that little square out, just like that. Just like that, maybe. Okay. I'm going to do that on both ends. That's just going to take out some of that bulk. It's not that you need this to be pretty or anything like that, but it takes out a lot of that bulk. And now you're going to put your score tape, let me clip, clip it right there off. You're going to put your score tape down through here on this side, just like that. And then you're going to put it on here. You're going to put it on the outer side of where you fold it, just like that. And then I go ahead and remove my score tape. Oh, come on, do not stick to that. Good thing that's going to be covered. Okay. And then what I do is I fold in my sides. No, I'm sorry. I fold up the bottom and then fold over the sides. And what that forms is that forms that little pocket that I have told you about so many times that then when you slide things down in there, they don't get caught on the score tape or anything. And now we're going to take this and we're going to put it right on the bottom. We're going to just flush it with the bottom part. And press it down. And then you've got your pocket done and it's got the bottom in it so nothing falls out. All right, now we'll go ahead and make our flap for this. And I'm thinking, I have to see which one's my flap since I didn't mark them. This one is seven by six and a half, and that's not right. So I think it's this one. Should be seven and a half by Seven and a half. Yes, it's this one. Okay, to make the flap for your pocket, what you need to do, and let me turn my camera this way just a little bit. What you need to remember is when you fold this flap over, you want it to be, you know, pretty close to the same length as your pocket. 
if that's what you're going for. You may want one that's short, that just comes halfway. It doesn't matter. You can do it either way, but just make sure that you allow a half an inch for folding that over. So I want mine to be the same length, so I made mine seven and a half. This is seven, so I made it seven and a half. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to score at half inch. And it doesn't matter since both of mine is seven and a half and seven and a half, it doesn't matter. Then I'm going to clip off just a little corner on each end where that score line is. I'm going to run my score tape down through here. Okay, pull your score tape off. And I should have went ahead and done my fold. Okay. Then what you're going to do is, I want I don't want this on the front side because it cover up my pocket. So I'm going to flip it over, and I'm going to sit this down in there, just to that score line. And then I'm just going to press it down. There's your pocket. Alright, now I'm going to round my corners. Well, I say I am around my corners on my pocket on my flap I mean now on this I want to put a little pull tab in the center and I'm just going to eyeball it I'm not going to measure I'm just going to kind of eyeball where the center is and that looks pretty good right there so all I did was just took my punch and went down about three quarters of the way of the punch and then punched it out. That looks close enough to the center for me. Alright, and then you're ready to cover everything. So everything is done. What we're going to do is go ahead and cover this. And I've cut my paper. Um, hopefully I've cut it correctly. I'm going to go ahead and use my black soot. And I'm going to go around my paper and ink everything up. This just makes everything look more uniform and keeps it from looking like you've just got some paper sitting on the top of some other paper. To me, it's it just helps everything blend. And I'm not so OCD that those have to match. I should have, but I didn't match them, so we're just going to go with it. I'm just going to use some ATG tape to put these down. Alright, I cut this piece. This piece is cut seven and a fourth by four and a fourth. And now, now this is for my book. Keep that in mind. And I'm just going to slide it down just a little bit inside that pocket. Just so that the bottom part doesn't show. Not very much, just a tiny bit. If I can get it in there without it sticking to my fingers. Okay. Alright, and then where this where I had this little piece cut right here, I'm just gonna go ahead and cut that out again. Black soot around that to keep those white edges from showing. And then we will put this piece down. I think that one looks better. There we go. So that we've got the front covered. I think that's super cute. And now we're going to cover this back page. I, ac I accidentally cut that one correct. Can you believe it? 
Oh, and today, I want to tell you this while I'm doing this. Today is the last day on the sale on this ATG tape. Right now we have it on the YouTube special. Today is the last day. We will be adding another special on here shortly. So if you want some of the ATG tape at a very low price, go over and grab it before we take it down. Alright, this one is going here and I'm going to go ahead and round my corners like I rounded the corners on that. All of this is from the same paper collection even though it does look somewhat different. This is the Julie Nutting Bella V paper. I love this paper line. It's so pretty. So we're going to put that one down right there. Right. And then we're going to put this one on this side. And I did cut mine off just a little bit. I told you I brought it all the way down. I actually put it in backward. <laughs> So I had to cut it off just a little bit, but I think that will be I think that will be fine. I'll still have plenty of room for photos or whatever here. You know, you like I said, you can make these flaps whatever size that you want. They don't have to be a particular size. They can be short, they can be long, they can be the same length, not the same length. All of that is up to you. Just design it like you want. So there we are. There's that, the flap. And then this side with the pocket. And then this. And now all we need is our tag that will go in here. And this is our tag. And our tag is, let me make sure I get it the right way. Yeah, it goes this way. Our tag is seven, our tag is six and a half by seven. And the six and a half I made this way so that it doesn't interfere when I start to put it in my album with these. So I made it six and a half. So that will still give me room in my album for this to go down in the album without interfering with the tag. So we're going to go ahead and round the corners, the top corners on our tag. And I haven't covered my tags right now because I really don't know what I want to cover them with. So I'm just kind of leaving them black right now. And now I'll show you how I did the little pull tab on there. And let's see what color we want to do that one in. We will do it in a contrasting color, so let's do it in this. I just took my paper and folded it. And I took my bone folder, wherever it might be. And I went ahead and creased my fold. You don't have to put this in your score pile or whatever and do it. Just do it that way. And then I took my one inch punch. And what I did is I put that on there about three quarters of an inch. About three quarters of the way, which would be three quarters of an inch. And I just punched that out. And that leaves me with this little tab. And then I go ahead and I ink around the edges. And then I put some glue on both sides. Take my tag and I lay it in there. Oops, I don't do that. But I lay it in there where I want it to be right even with that. And then I just take my little tab and I put it on there, leaving just a little bit sticking up. And then I just press it together. And that makes your little tab that sits down in there, just like that. See? So there's your little tab sitting in there. And, you know, that'll just help catch it and keep it from sliding through until we can get our pages put on. So that is it on this. And now we're ready to put our pages on here. Now, I don't have all of mine made. I only have two. But two would be enough to show you how this is 
done. So what we're going to do now is we're going to put some score tape on both sides of these little flaps. So I'm going to put some on that side. I'm going to flip it and I'm going to put some on this side. And then I'm going to do the same thing with this second one. And then I am going to put some on this side. And you do need to put it on both sides because that is what's going to help these pages stick in place. Make sure that you burnish it down really well. Okay, go ahead and pull your score tape off of the first one. Front and back. And I think I want, I really think I want this one to be my first page. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to open this, I'm going to take my tag out. I'm going to open this up and I'm going to pull that up to where it is standing up straight so I can kind of get a hold of it. I'm going to start on one side. I'm going to put that down, push it all the way down to the bottom and then press it down. So there is my first page in. And you see what I'm talking about? The hidden, 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 hidden hinge. That's hard to say. Now it's my hidden hinge is hidden. So let's do that again and I'll show you one more time. And just take the score tape off of one of these at a time because you don't want to get this all these stuck together. Believe me. You do not want to do that. Okay, open it up. Start it on one side. As you can see, just sit it down. Move the other ones out of the way. Sit it down on one side. Press it in place. Push it all, make sure it's all the way down to the bottom. As far as it'll go against the album. And then press it down. So there's your second page in. So we have our page pocket, our tag will go back in, right there, perfectly. Then you have the back side and your flap, put pictures or whatever. Then you have your another, another page, your pocket, and your tag that will go back in, right there, and then you have your back page. You also have a pocket in here that you can put things if you want. So then you have your other page. So that, you know, all I need to do is make six more pages and I am finished with my album other than decorating the front. So I think this is going to be absolutely super cute and I can't wait to start putting pictures and all my decorations and everything in here. I will go ahead and finish this up and then I'll take some photos at the end of the finished product and I will post it at the end of this video so don't forget to check those out alright guys that is it if you have any questions on how I put this together please leave them in the comments below I hope I, it wasn't too confusing for you I, I know sometimes I can get very confusing in what I'm trying to tell someone so I hope I didn't make, get you totally confused but if I did I will try to, to correct that just leave me comments and I, I will answer them and as always please give us a thumbs up and subscribe and share this video with your family and friends and on Twitter and Facebook and everywhere else if you don't mind that just helps me out a little bit and gets the word out there that I'm doing some videos and some tutorials I appreciate all the new subscribers please stay tuned there are other videos coming bye bye guys